Okay, so here I have a mechanical pressure switch from SOR. These are a lot more simple than they actually look. We're gonna set this up, calibrate it, and adjust it, and uh, talk about the inner workings of this switch, how it actually works in different parts and pieces. So let's go. All right, so here we have a mechanical pressure switch. Through here you have your process connection. You'll have a diaphragm about right here. You have a spring, your range spring here, and the range spring will be adjusted depending on the adjustment screw. And the further you go down, the more pressure you're applying on the range spring. So the further you go down, the more pressure, the, the higher set point you'll have. So behind here, you'll have an indicator with a number telling you in PSI uh, how much pressure or what set point you have this mechanical pressure switch roughly set at. So it's not really a uh, specific number, it's really just as a, um, as a guide, right? So you don't wanna just set it and forget it, you wanna test it after that too. So on top of this adjustment screw, you'll have this micro switch. So as process applied to the pressure switch below the diaphragm, overcomes the force applied from the range spring, then this adjustment screw will then touch this micro switch and then cause the switch to be able to change uh, circuits from a common to normally open or from a common to normally closed, depending on which state you are in previous. So let's go to look here. What I wanna take a look at first here is, here we have a common, normally open and normally closed terminal blocks or terminals. So these three wires already wired in, which I wired them in earlier right before this video. You have a common, normally open and normally closed on this micro switch. So what I'd like to do first is with no process, no pressure applied on this pressure, let's go ahead and test it. What we're gonna do is here I have my 789 and uh, we're gonna go common to normally open. We're gonna show OL because with no pressure applied, shelf state, right out of the box, it shows from common to normally open. This circuit right here is open, right? So not until you apply pressure, will this micro switch will then close contact and then allow resistance or continuity to be able to flow through uh, and show us an actual uh, ohm reading, right? So first, the next thing we'll do, we'll just test it out. Let's go common. Let's where's my common, this side. Let's go to common to normally closed. And here you're showing continuity. So 0 0.3 ohms. So testing this for continuity, we're basically just testing the micro switch, knowing that we have ohms. This tells us that we have an electrical path or a full electrical path to allow current to be able to flow through, right? Now we're gonna apply pressure on this mechanical pressure switch here we just got a simple pump that we're gonna apply pressure. And I have the uh, meter set up for normally open and closed right now, so NO and C. So right now we're showing OL, no continuity, but whenever we have pressure applied, we're seeing that reading, ohm reading, turn on and turn off, right? So close and then open. So if we were to test that, over to the common and closed without any pressure applied, right? So zero pressure applied as a process into the diaphragm. Uh, you have 0.3 ohms or you have continuity already. So now let's go and apply pressure. And this is gonna go and switch to the OL. So now we have an open loop because the micro switch has switched states. Now with it depressured, switch back to the normal state. This micro switch is what's doing the whole, the, what's doing the magic here, right? So with pro process pressure applied, the micro switch then changes states and now allows a different uh, electrical path to flow through. Now, to be able to adjust it, I'll tell you, you did have a gauge with you and you had to have set up for 15 PSI, then we can adjust this knob here up and down. And this is a three quarter wrench, by the way. I just have my crescent wrench here with me. And 
By going down, you're applying more pressure on the spring. By applying more pressure on the spring, now you need more process pressure to overcome that spring to push this nut up. That way it applies pressure on this micro switch, which then changes states. So now I have it set at probably at about 15 PSI. So we just with those few turns, we went up about five PSI. So then with the digital gauge or with any kind of gauge you have, you can then apply pressure on it and test it, go up and down, find the sweet spot and test it this way. So this is how you test a mechanical pressure switch. All right, so I really appreciate you sticking around and talking about this pressure switch. Hopefully you got some value out of this. Hopefully you feel a lot more confident and set these pressure switches up. And they're, they're uh, as we talked about, they're, they're pretty simple and they're super durable. Um, so if you got any value out of this video, please like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you in that next one. Take care.